Did you see that? Whoa, 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 we scored? Yeah, we scored going to the playoffs. I can't believe I missed that. Every time I'm buzzed, I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face builds. Okay, you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Kevin! Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. And they're still with you right now. But how well do you know them? You don't know Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she dumped me for my best friend. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call a car. That's a smart idea. Good evening and welcome to the Season 8 premiere of Summit Sessions Live. I'm your host, Kylie Schapansky. We are here inside Moore Hall Studios at Central Michigan University. This is a student-produced program that's coming to you live on MHTV, our YouTube Live channel, and Mountain 91.5. Our amazing audio mix is brought to you by Moore Media Records. Our first act tonight is a solo artist from Detroit, Michigan, Kendra Denise. We'll have time later in the show to answer any questions you all have for her. And as always, don't forget to send your questions for Kendra Denise on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions or in the comments section right here on YouTube Live. Please welcome our first act of the evening, the wonderful Kendra Denise. Kendra is from Detroit, Michigan and self-describes her music as hip-hop and R&B. Without further ado, Kendra Denise with her song, Hurt Me. Through no more I've been bleeding I ain't a victim, I've been afraid I've been living And I'm not flawless, but I'm worth it In God's eyes, it's so much deeper than the surface Well, I appreciate you coming, I don't need it Cause now you're reaching, now you need to get a bleed I'm having fun, not shooting guns, and I ain't perfect And you ain't perfect, neither wait until you see it Can't wait until you see it Can't wait until you see it can't wait until you see it. Can't wait until you see me. Well, I hate you on me, wishing they could be me. But baby, it ain't all that easy. So why are you trying to hurt me? And nobody see me screaming. I'm tired too, I just need you to see it. Can't wait until you see it. Cause you'll be told you're fighting demons. And now you're wildin' for no reason. They got you going through them seasons, going through them changes. Break down, stay up, they go. 
That was Kendra Denise with her song, Hurt Me. Up next is an unreleased song. This is Queen Tings. That was Kendra Denise with Queen Tings. We will be right back.
and we are back. Now I have some questions for you. Firstly, how did you get into music? Um, I got into music through my family, of course. Starting off in the church, like at church, music is a huge part of worship. So that's where I truly le learned my love for music. Is your family a big musical family? I would say so, definitely. Are you, Absolutely. Who would be the most musical? Um, I don't really think there is a most. Everybody in my family tries to keep it under wraps, but everyone in my family, I feel like, has a gift that has to do with music. So Yeah, I like yeah. that. Do you play any instruments? I have been trying my hardest to teach myself piano for, like, years now. I just need to sit down and have the discipline to do it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That's really cool because piano is such a versatile instrument. For Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you could perform a duet with anyone, who would it be? Oh, my gosh. A duet? I would have a duet with Ari Lennox. She's a very um, different artist. Her voice is very different, and it's very, how do I explain it? Wholesome to me. It's calming. And just, I don't know, it's a vibe. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, what does your creative process look like when you're writing your songs? My creative process, first, I have to listen to a beat. And if I'm listening to the beat and I literally don't feel anything, like with music, everything has to be physical for me. So if I don't feel like if it doesn't move something in my chest or like I don't feel some tingling in like my fingertips or anything like that, it's like, eh, that's not the beat for me. So then I'll like replay the beat over and over and over again until I hear something in my head. It's kind of like catchy that people would hum to, sing to, you know, just catch on to whatever they would like then I'll start writing, I don't know, sometimes it's my feelings, sometimes it's what I'm focused on at the moment, sometimes it's just I've gone out somewhere and I was influenced by the situation or I just loved where I was at and picked up on some of the vibes there and get inspiration from that or writing poetry, putting it on the beats, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Awesome. Now, who is your favorite artist when you were growing up? When I was growing up, my favorite artist was Chris Brown. My big sister used to have me listen to him all the time. So he was just so versatile in a lot of ways. His lyrics were always like intriguing, you can say. They caught a lot of people's attention. Um, he's extremely musical. Like his concepts in his music, there's always so many different things going on. There's so many things to catch on to, to pay attention to. Different beats, different just harmonies. Stuff like that. It's just awesome to me. Yeah. Who would you consider your musical inspiration? My musical inspiration would have to be her. And why? Because her music, whenever she releases something, whatever she puts her hands on, it's just it's extremely meaningful. And she just puts so much purpose into her music and so much soul into the way she sings and plays her instruments. And you could just tell she's truly dedicated. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And if listeners at home want more, where can they find you? You guys can definitely find me on all listening platforms, music listening, excuse me, music listening platforms at Kendra Denise. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, thanks so much to Kendra for answering my burning questions. Now we're going to head to break, but don't go anywhere because Kendra will be answering your social questions right after the break. Oh, Scott. Hey. I'm heading out, man. You want to ride? No, I got my car, but I actually really need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I was just in there. The line is like 10 people long. You know, I think I'll just... Dude, are you okay? You wouldn't believe what I was just thinking. I, I am definitely buzzed. Yeah. I think I will take this, and I will take that ride home. Smart man. Did you see how that dog was looking at me? Because of you, I feel not alone in this world. And you let me know that it only takes one person to make you feel wanted. Christina from accounting. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I used to date a girl named Christina. Oh, really? Yeah. 
and then she dumped me for my best friend. I thought we talked about this, buddy. Buzz and overshared again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call a car. That's a smart idea. We scored? Yeah, we scored. We're going to the playoffs. I can't believe I missed that. Every time I'm buzzed, I spend too much time on my phone. I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Wait, why does my face look like that? If I could go back and change it all, I would. I would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just the little moments. I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. The COVID-19 vaccines are going to help us all get back to the moments we miss. It's totally normal to have questions. I did too. That's why it's so important to get informed. Ask your doctor and get the facts. It's up to you. When I first saw Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Every day. Millions of people are connecting. And even though we're overcoming obstacles, watching each other's backs, and banding together, we should still make an effort. We should still make an effort to get to know each other on a deeper level. Father. Cosplayer. Mentor. Actor. It's time we take a step forward. It's time we take a step forward. Come together and discover how accepting our differences can make, make us stronger. Welcome back to the Season 8 premiere of Summit Sessions Live. Remember, it's not too late to submit your questions for Kendra. Send them in on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions or in the comment section right here on YouTube Live. And now, without further ado, here is Kendra Denise with her last song of the night. This is Be My Secret. Come and be my secret. Be 
you can always be my little could you be my little secret baby you can always run through my mind Once again, that was Kendra Denise with Be My Secret. Now it's time to see what questions the viewers have. We have What Inspired You to Make Music by Oswin Renette. The person who helped me write that last song or helped me produce that last song, his name is JMT. You guys should look him up on Instagram, at who's JMT. He inspired me to start making music. Like I always sang and I always wanted to do it, but I was scared. And he like took the initiative to figure out his own thing and gave us the idea to start our own record label with another one of my friends, Demaya. She's got some music out as well. You guys should look us up on Apple Music, whatever listening platform you have. Look up Friday Therapy by JMT. It's a whole project that we started. So yeah. Awesome. And now we got, who's your favorite woman and male artists? Okay, my favorite woman artist right now is Brandy. She's just out cold and always been around and just like the head of the game here. Um, my favorite male artist right now, I would say, if we're talking about R&B, Right now, everyone loves Giveon. I really like Giveon. But Miguel will always have my heart as a wonderful R&B artist. Awesome, awesome, I agree. Uh, what audience do you want to reach with your music? I want to reach all audiences. I want to start out reaching out to my family, my friends. Then I just want to reach out to everyone in all areas of struggle. I want my music to be healing in a way, you know? So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and what is your favorite song? Mm. My favorite song, Yams, by Masego and another, I'm not sure who the other artist is right now. I feel bad about that, but y'all should okay. listen to that. Yeah, Yams, <laughs> we'll definitely check it out. <laughs> okay. Um, our next question is, favorite song to perform live from Emily Griffin? Favorite song to perform live, Someone Like You by Adele. I sang that at a talent show in like the fifth grade, and that will always be home oh. when you don't know what else to sing. Love some Adele. That's yeah. such gorgeous music. Always. Cool. All right, another question. Did you play any sports growing up from Maddie? Yes, I used to be on the cheer team in high school. I started off on JV and then got moved up to varsity, and I was super excited. So, yeah. And That's I carried fun. that on. Awesome. Yeah. All right. From Twitter, we have favorite video game. Hmm. Y'all going to think I'm kind of lame, but GTA. And it's not even like I'll beat the missions for real. I just like driving. <laughs> I just like to drive. In. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, how far did you drive to get here? I drove two hours. Yeah, from Detroit. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Do, what, what, what kind of music did you listen to on the drive? Oh, I just put my phone on shuffle. So it's uh, like Latin music. It's friggin' R&B, hip-hop, country, rock, like everything cool. is just mashed in there. So, yeah. Yeah. We love diverse playlists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and we have, if you could be an animal, what animal would it be? If I could be an animal... Um, I honestly would want to be, hmm. I think I would want to be a lion, Ooh. but a female lion. I wouldn't want to be a male lion. Yeah, like the leader of the pack. Yeah. I can see that for you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> All right, um, another Twitter question. What's your favorite season? My favorite season has got to be summer. The winter time, it's cute and all. It's just, it makes me, it just makes me uptight. So, and the summertime is my birthday too. So. Oh yeah, yeah. sunshine and birthday. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, and a YouTube question: pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on pizza is okay on Hawaiian pizza. If you're throwing it on just pepperoni, I'm gonna question it a little bit. 
Like if it's the whole Hawaiian thing, yeah, absolutely. Respectful, respectful. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately that is all the time we have for social questions. Thank you so much to Kendra Denise for joining us tonight on the season eight premiere of Summit Sessions Live. I'm gonna toss it over to Charlie Fawson with Music in the Mitten, and right after that, we'll have John Kennedy here to perform for you. We will be right back. Oh yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> A segment of Summit Sessions Live devoted entirely to music in Michigan and then some. I'm your host, Charlie Fawson, a music nerd bringing you the latest news from music, virtual concerts, and more. Let's hop into it. Central Michigan University announces their new Dean of the College of Arts and Media. CMU Interim Provost and Executive Vice President Richard Rothaus named Jefferson Campbell as Dean of the College of Arts and Media. Campbell worked at the University of Minnesota Duluth as a professor of bassoon and Associate Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. The new Dean has performed professionally across the United States and the world. Campbell is set to take charge of the College of Arts and Media on the 1st of July this year. The Michigan famous DTE Energy Music Theater changes their name to something a bit more iconic for the brand. Following the end of a 20-year contract with DTE, Current sponsors Trinity Health and United Wholesale Mortgage decided to bring back the original Pine Knob name for the venue. According to Pine Knob Management Company 313 Presents, the name change also marks the concert hall's 50th anniversary. Audiences can look forward to an all-star summer lineup at the reinvented Pine Knob Music Theater. Soaring Eagle Casino welcomes a variety of top artists from the 1990s this February. The Still in Love with the 90s show features artists such as Vanilla Ice, Tone Loke, and DJ Jazzy Jeff. The concert takes place on February 4th. Tickets can be found on the Soaring Eagle Casino webpage. One of the biggest emo and rock festivals is set to take place this fall. Featuring iconic acts such as My Chemical Romance, Paramore, Avril Lavigne, and many more, the festival is made for lovers of alternative music. The presale for the festival is set to take place at 10 a.m. on Friday, January 21st. Any remaining tickets will go on sale later in the day at 2 p.m. Tickets for the festival start at $225. Janice Ian, a longtime musician and musical artist, is set to release her final project this January. Titled The Light at the End of the Line, the album is her first release in over 15 years. Ian began her long career in 1967 at the age of 15. The album is expected to explore her career in a new way. Ian has been nominated for nine Grammy Awards and has won two. Typically, the beginning of the year is music award season with the celebration of the Grammys award show. The event was scheduled to take place in Los Angeles, California in late January. However, Grammys organizers announced that the prolific awards show has been postponed till April 3rd and is moved to Las Vegas, Nevada. According to Grammys organizers, the change in date comes as a result of the growth in COVID-19 cases. This will be the first time the event takes place in Las Vegas. The show plans to air on ET, CBS, and Paramount+. Disney surpasses their hit song, Let It Go, with their new hit from the animated movie, Encanto. Written by musician Lin-Manuel Miranda, the song We Don't Talk About Bruno is the biggest Billboard 100 hit in Disney's animated filmography. The song hit its peak earlier this week, charting at number four and achieving over 29 million streams. Well, that's all the time we have today for Music in the Mitten and more. I'm your host, Charlie Fawson, and we will be back with Summit Sessions Live after a short break. <laughs> yeah! Sam, Elmo! Oh, hey, Julia! Are you ready to play band with us? I'm gonna play my clarinet. And Elmo's gonna play his drum. Drum loud. Oh, well, you know what to do, Julia. Hi, Julia knows. Mm -hmm. With Julia's autism, loud sounds can be too much. But she still loves to make music. <laughs> play band. <sighs> Early screening for autism can make a lifetime of difference. Find out more at screenforautism.org. Let's be real. Getting a flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you, too. Play Eric Amarola's Race Day Mix.
There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. This is a serious problem, but one we can solve. Visit feedingamerica.org to help. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're feeding America. Mom was always very self-sufficient, but we started noticing things were off. I was forgetting my responsibilities at work. I told mom we should visit a doctor. Alzheimer's, it was hard to hear that. Early detection gave us time to seek information and support as a family. I've never felt more connected with mom. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. I think it's just vapor and flavors. It won't hurt my kid like cigarettes. Get your head out of the cloud. Talk to your kid about vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Families don't have to talk about everything, but they should talk about how to plan for an emergency. Get tips and resources to make your family's emergency plan. I'm a first generation Filipino American. You don't always feel you're a part of the country you live in. It's this weird middle space sometimes that you have to, to live inside of. But when you meet others that are also living in that space, you'll learn to know that that is its own unique space, too. My kids put these on as they were learning to walk. I want my kids to be able to have those moments with their kids. Being a scientist, I'm worried about climate change in so many different ways for my kids. From the second you have a child, you want to do everything to protect them. I think our action on climate change is no different. It's just an extension of being a mom. I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. The central and midwestern U.S. averages more than 850 tornadoes each year. And lately, the number of floods has been rising in the region, too. So chances are, there will be more twisters and floods near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are, they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let 211 be your guiding light for help with food, health care, and other resources. 211, how can I help you? Call 211 or visit 211.org. 211, get connected, get help. Welcome back to the season six premiere of Summit Sessions Live. I'm your host, Kylie Shapansky. We're simulcasting live on MHTV, 91.5 The Mountain, and YouTube Live, right here from the school, 
right here in the School of Broadcast and Cinematic Arts at Central Michigan University. Don't forget to send your questions for John Kennedy on Twitter at summit underscore sessions or in the comment section right here on YouTube Live. Our second musical act of the night is another solo artist by the name John Kennedy. John is from St. Clair Shores, Michigan, and he describes his music as rock slash alternative. Let's get back to the music. Here is John Kennedy with his original song, Sometimes. That was John Kennedy with Sometimes. Up next, another original song. This is John Kennedy with Wind.
That was John Kennedy with Wind. We will be right back. And we're back. Now, I have some questions for you. Firstly, how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, I started playing guitar uh, when I moved up to Central. So this is my fifth year playing. Awesome. Uh, do you play any other instruments? Yeah, actually, the only reason I started playing guitar was because my piano wouldn't fit in my dorm room. Like, the keyboard that I got for Christmas uh, wouldn't fit under the futon. So I bought a guitar instead. So any other playing. instruments besides those two? Yeah, before that, I played cello, like when I was in elementary school, and then I moved on to electric bass, and then to piano, like I said. But your favorite's guitar? Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Uh, what uh, prompted you to pick up guitar to learn compared to any other instrument? Uh, growing up, my brother was in a lot of bands, and he's always been very musical. Um, so he, would, he was a drummer, and he still drums, so I couldn't do that because I didn't want to copy him. But uh, he was in a metal band when he was in high school, and one of his guitarists when they broke up he, they left a the guitar over and I started playing that instead of playing my electric bass and I kind of stuck to guitar more than bass from there. That's cool. Yeah. Um, if you woke up tomorrow and you could no longer play the guitar what instrument would you pick up instead? I'd probably go back to piano. I, it finds its way into pretty much every song whether it's a synth, a piano, or a keyboard. That's you can pretty much make everything. Yeah that's awesome. Uh, if you could join any band what band would you choose? Uh, going honestly, going off your shirt, I'd love to join Led Zeppelin. They yeah. riff it, they riff it out for sure. I love it. I love it. Um, who would you consider your musical inspiration? Uh, for the guitar in particular, I really like Jimi Hendrix and Jimmy Page. But um, in terms of like building and writing a song, I really like Kings of Leon and simpler bands like that. They're more like palatable for people. Yeah, that's cool. Um, what would be your dream venue to play at? Uh, honestly, uh, it's it's a little smaller, but I'd love to play St. Andrews in Detroit one day. Um, just about every big rock band ever has gone through there, and it's legendary. Yeah, you want to be part of the legacy. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so who was your favorite artist growing up? Uh, when I was a kid, I was like, kind of when modern punk was coming out, so it was a lot of Blink-182, a lot of Green Day. Um, I was actually really into this band Thursday for a while. I haven't really listened to any of those guys a whole lot since then, to be honest. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Um, if you could go to dinner with any celebrity, who would it be and why? Oh, might be a bit of a thinker on that one. Um, dinner with any celebrity. Honestly, I'd probably pick Kanye, Kanye West. He's an extremely interesting person. Yeah. Get a little bit of insight into that wild mind. It would be dope. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, I have to ask. I am trying to learn uh, guitar myself. Yeah. Um, what kind of advice do you have? Um, I mean, stay, like, keep playing. Don't quit. And then I, I think a lot of people try to press too hard when they first start, and so their fingers hurt really bad, so they quit. So just be gentle and be patient. Cool. Awesome. And watch YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely smart. watch YouTube. All right. Uh, if listeners at home want more, where can they find you? Uh, I'm not on any uh, listening platforms right now, but I should have an EP. I'll probably be under my name by the end of the summer, hopefully. I mean, I've been pushing that off for a while, but 
hopefully it'll get done by the summer. Awesome. We will look forward to that. Sounds great. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for answering my burning questions. Uh, you still have time to send in your questions for John on Twitter at summit underscore sessions on, or right here in the comments on YouTube Live. Now it's time for a short break, but we'll be right back with more from John Kennedy. Because of you, I felt hopeless. Because you said rude things about my work, I started to question my own voice. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of your negative comments online, I've almost quit doing the one thing that makes me happiest in life. Because you shared something about me that was private, I felt embarrassed. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. Because of you sharing your story with me, I feel comfortable sharing my own. Because you were there when I was coming out, you helped me regain my confidence. I'm still here today because of you. Welcome back to the season eight premiere of Summit Sessions Live. It's not too late to send your questions for John Kennedy on Twitter at summit underscore sessions or in the comment section right here on YouTube Live. It is now time for the last song of the night. This is John Kennedy with Reflections.
That was John Kennedy with Reflections. Now let's see what the viewers at home want to know. All right, uh, what inspired you to make music? Uh, to make my own stuff? I, I don't know. I just kind of like always been a fan of music and then once I kind of got the hang of playing instruments it just kind of felt natural to like try to create something that was my own. So it's kind of just a natural kind of progression. Cool. All right, next question. Uh, what are your career goals? Uh, I actually want to be a strength and conditioning coach. So I got to go back to grad school after this year and uh, get that extra education. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Uh, what's your songwriting process like? Uh, it usually starts with like a guitar line or a bass riff, and then I kind of just build everything up from there. It usually go either guitar or bass, and then usually I'll add drums next, and then just kind of build it up, add effects and stuff. And then last thing I ever do is vocals because I don't really like to sing, to be honest. Okay. Um, what or who is your mentor? I don't really have like a mentor, I would say, but uh, my brother has been the, uh, just like the largest influence I could have had on wanting to make music and continue to play. Mm. Yeah, awesome. Um, another question on YouTube. Who's your favorite woman and male artist? Uh, I'd say my favorite female artist. Um, I like Lauren Hill, probably. Probably my favorite female artist. And then like solo male artist. That's kind of hard. Um, I guess I'd, I'd probably just say Jimi Hendrix again if I got to pick one male artist. Yeah, that's a good choice. Got to. All right, another question. We have, why the orange slice guitar strap? Uh, this was at B's Music, and I thought it matched the uh, guitar really well. Yeah, and, I it's mean, cute. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, and it kind of reminds you, like, halftime when you're a kid at sports. You get orange slices from someone's mom or something. It's kind of <laughs> dope. Cool. Awesome. Uh, another question on YouTube. We have, what inspired you to get into music? Uh, that was a similar question earlier, but um, it's like I said, it was kind of like just listening to music, figuring out what I liked, and then eventually when you kind of play enough, you can kind of emulate the sounds that you like, and then once you can do that, you can really start making stuff that really is your own, which is cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um, where is your dream vacation? Uh, there's definitely a couple spots I could think of, but number one, I'd probably go with Hawaii because I've only heard great things. My friend Joey just came back from Hawaii. Actually, he loved it. Um, and my cousins, while they were there, they said they like went on like a 20-minute hike, and they went through like four different like environments from like the volcano to the ocean to like the jungle in like 20 minutes. So that'd be cool to experience. Cool. All right, we got another question here. Favorite song to perform live? Uh, I couldn't play anything uh, that was copyrighted, but my favorite thing to play would probably be Paranoid by Black Sabbath Ooh. or uh, Paranoid or A Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. Cool. Um, what is your favorite song right now? Mm, my favorite song right now is by, it's not rock or alternative, it's more like Kendra stuff, it's R&B, it's by this guy Hush Forte, it's called Far Away. Sick. Um, I think we got another one. Did you play any sports growing up? Yeah, I actually played a lot of sports growing up, but I mainly was like a football player and a basketball player. And then I ran track in the off seasons to stay fresh. Wow, that's a lot. What was your favorite? Oh, I love football by far. Nothing's close. Okay, awesome. Okay, that is all the time we have for today. A big thank you to our two acts tonight on the premiere of season eight of Summit Sessions Live. Don't forget to keep up with us on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions and on Instagram at uh, Summit underscore Sessions Live. Again, thank you to Kendra Denise and John Kennedy. We are looking forward to an amazing season eight, and we hope you are too. For Summit Sessions Live, I'm your host, Kylie Shapansky. We'll see you next time.